So, in the old days, it was very different. In the old days, the Gdolim would go and raise money when it was desperate times. And Rav Wasserman, one time, went to one of his journeys to raise money. And he got to a place, he went to one of his donors, that's a rich person. And um, when the, uh, the guy uh, got there, it was a snowstorm. Usually a snowstorm, you stay home. When lives are on the line, there's no uh, staying home. There's no calling in sick. Oh, Rabbi, listen, I, uh, I have a headache. I'm not going to come today. I have a headache. I'll come to it. Snowstorm, it went. If it was for a million dollars, you'd go. A million dollars, you'd go. It doesn't matter if you have a headache. But that's the difference. Different, you know, people's priorities are different. All right, listen, I'm sneezing a little today. So I'm not going to come for the shoe for a week. Okay, so no problem. But if it was a million dollars, every shoe you'd come. You'd come. Oh. Snowstorm. While the snow is going, on top of it, it's freezing weather of Europe, Russia. It's like, you know, the Gainom has, you know, the, the hot place and the cold place. I believe that the cold place is in Russia. It's very cold over there, apparently. So anyway, Rabotai, Rav Wasserman is there. He gets to the rich person's house, knocks on the door. The butler opens the door. Zok, Rav, come, 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 come in. Go, no, 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 please, I want to talk to Mr. Such and Such. Okay, but Rav, come in. Oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm right here. Just please tell him to come. I, I need to talk to him. Something very important. So the butler runs to uh, Sir, sir, Rav Wasserman, Rav Wasserman, he's here again. He wants to talk to you. Tell him to come in. He goes, he doesn't want to come in. He doesn't want to come in. What do you mean he doesn't want to come in? I don't know. I asked him. He doesn't want to come in. He goes, ah, no, go. He runs to the door. He goes, Rav, come, come, come. He goes, no, no, no. I need to talk to you. Okay. You want to come in? No, I need to talk to you right now. Okay. So they're both outside. No, the, 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 the Balabait, the Bal, the owner, he's like at the doorstep. But Rav Wasserman is outside in the cold. There's snow coming down on him. It's freezing. It's freezing. And he starts talking. He says, you know why I'm here? No. Well, Rav, tell me. He says, the kids, the kids at the yeshiva in Bonovich, in Baranovich, they don't have any food. We are now sharing... A meal for three, for one per, for, for a meal for one person between three, four people. And on top of it, some of them, their shoes, not shoes anymore, sandals. And on top of it, this, and this goes, okay, Kvadrav, come in. Go, no, 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 I need to tell you. Hold on a second. I need to tell you. Also, the clothes, they're growing. The kids are growing, Baruch Hashem. The kids are growing. They're not growing like they should because they can't eat that much. But the, the, the clothes are shrinking. And it's holes. And he starts telling them all the details of the agony and pain of the 400 students that he has. And you know, Rav Wasserman wasn't one of these people that would preach and do something different, Chas Shalom. If there wasn't, this family said, Abba, uh, we have, uh, ch can we get chicken? No. Why, why, why can we get chicken? Because unless we have chicken, for all 400 of my kids, we're not going to eat chicken at home. We're not going to eat chicken at home. His own kids, his own kids, which some of them became G'dolei Adol. They said, if there wasn't food in the yeshiva exactly like we have at home, not eating. If they're not eating, we're not eating. So Rav Wasserman starts telling his balabait all of the different issues. The shoes are now sandals. The, the, the jackets are no longer fit. The shirts have holes in them. The food is being split among several kids and so on and so forth. 20 minutes, 20 minutes of details in the freezing cold, the guy is freezing. Rav Wasserman is free. Everybody's freezing. He's going on and on after 20 minutes. He says, so what do you think? Are you going to be able to help this year? The Palabite says, sure, for the Rav. Of course I'm going to help. He goes, okay, so I'll come in. He comes into the house. The guy is catching his breath because it's so cold. And after a few minutes of, you know, catching himself, he says, I don't understand. Every year, you, you come to me, I, I, I try to give. 
But I just don't understand. Why couldn't you just tell me everything you just said for the last 20 minutes inside, next to the fire where it's warm and everything? Rav Wasim and Akadosh says, the Ashir, the Ashir does not feel the pain of the Ani. The rich does not feel the pain of the, of the poor. Doesn't feel the pain of the poor. Say he's hungry. Would you know what hungry feels like? You ate your third meal by 12 o'clock. What, what, what do you know about hungry? Cold. What cold do you know? It's 500 degrees in your house if you want it to be. You have enough fires in every room to build a, to build a whole factory. What do you know about it? The Ashir does not feel the pain of Dani. I wanted you to feel the pain of these little boys. I wanted you to feel what they're feeling. I love for 20 minutes, not all day. Because the Kadosh Baruch Hu blessed you. But I wanted you to feel a little bit, 20 minutes of what they deal with, 24 hours a day. Before you decide what you're going to give. B'Shem Hashem Nasev and Atzliach, we're very excited to offer you the new Bezat Hashem app 3.0. It's a newer, faster app, full of Torah, lots of Kedusha, by uh, the Shurim that we do, myself, Rav Ephraim, Rav Chaim, uh, where you'll have uh, also newer features where you're able to use the app uh, while you're using other applications on your phone. You'll be able to share the, uh, the lectures directly from the app. You'll be able to donate online and support our Cube and our Torah work that we're doing. And the most exciting feature is that you'll be able to actually ask questions directly on the app and get answers from the rabbis directly from the app. This is something unprecedented and Baruch Hashem will be able to offer it. Thank you again for all of your support. Check it out. Make sure you have the kosher Torah that uh, will re-energize your neshama each and every single day. Call to B'chavat